Hey guys, welcome back. Um, to start this video off, we just wanted to take a second to thank all of you who have reached out to us um, to wish us well and send positive uh, words of encouragement our way. It's been greatly appreciated and truly inspirational. So to all of you who have reached out, thank you so much. Yeah, it's extremely humbling and it's really fun to see a lot of new names and new subscribers. So thank you guys so much for following our journey and for encouraging us. And like we said before, it's it means a lot to us and so we really appreciate you guys reaching out the way that you do yeah it's been very uplifting and inspiring so again thank you yes. um all that being said we have a lot happening here today melissa what's going on uh today we are prioritizing water so our neighbor is coming over with his excavator it's good to have a neighbor with an excavator so he is going to help us dig the trenches for our water line so we're going to be running trenches from the well to the pole barn so that we can get running water to the barn and to the trailer and to our eventual a eventual apartment there and then also from the well to our home foundation and from the well head to the center of our garden hopefully and that way we can irrigate our garden and orchard area yeah it's a step in the right direction and it's a big one for us so we're looking forward to it hoping that uh, everything works out well yeah so all right we're gonna go rip some ground up and he should be here soon our trench see the dirt pile stacked up nicely next to it and the reason we're having to dig so deep for these lines is because the frost line in our area here in North Idaho is no joke so we're having to go down four feet while the boys are working on the trenches I'm going to be stacking firewood so we don't freeze this winter making some major progress. You can see our trench is running right along our pole barn here. It was quite a ways and the excavator has made it almost all the way to our well.
All right, so we've got things trenched from the pole barn to the well. Now we're gonna extend our trench from the wellhead to our home foundation. So he's got me started here, a little space to work. Um, we're gonna try to tunnel underneath our concrete foundation so that we have access um, into the middle where everything needs to be run for our plumbing. So as we're working on now, I'm doing all this by hand with very rudimentary tools. It's gonna be a lot of work. Fortunately, we've got nice weather and it's pretty comfortable out. So here we go. Oh my gosh! Hey, when you finally break through, that's something to celebrate. Am I right? Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Hello, 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 hello. While the guys are wrapping up out there, I'm going to fill my hutch. I had to bring my hutch, even though we sold most of our furniture. I just love that little thing. So it holds all my canned food. I aim to can about two to 300 cans or jars a year, depending on what I'm growing. So all of this is just what's left over from our one acre homestead that we had in Washington. And I hope to can at least this much this year, but we'll see what we accomplish on the garden. You have mousers, huh? Lolo, what do you have? still getting work done back here we need to dig one last trench going from our well to our garden space which is behind me uh, part of the concern I have at this point is not knowing how wide the excavator is and we have a gate opening on either end you can see on the far end there and then we're also standing in this one here so I need to take a quick measurement to see whether or not we can get him in here because I'd like to actually plumb our water to the center of this space if possible uh, just to make it easier to reach every corner when necessary. So we'll do that now. We'll chat with him real quick and we'll see if this works out. If not, we're gonna have to dig our trench to the gate opening itself and then figure this out down the road. It turns out that the excavator actually will fit through the gate. So we put a rod in the center, which is where we're going to run the water to. So that way we've got water going right to the center of our garden and orchard space. Okay guys, so we are here. We are standing in the middle of our eventual garden and orchard space. We were able to get the, uh, the trench dug to the center, um, which is gonna hopefully make life easier for us. We won't have to drag a hose from one far end to the other and get our plants and trees watered. So Melissa and I were having a discussion after seeing this trench being dug that there's some really, really heavy, dense clay on the bottom um, of this trench. It's dug four feet deep. 
And we're a little concerned moving forward that with planting our fruit trees, we may have to do some serious soil amendment uh, just to loosen things up and make it so that our fruit tree roots are able to do their thing and branch out. So stay tuned and we are going to have to come up with a solution that will uh, just help all of our trees thrive. All right, guys, there you go. That's another uh, really busy and productive day here on the property with, you know, us trying to get everything developed. Very grateful for our neighbor's help. Um, and things are kind of a mess right now. Yeah, we're in the trenches, literally. Yeah, it's a mess, but this is all stuff that <laughs> needs to be done. So I'm happy with the progress that we've made. Anyway. Yeah, so we're going to go uh, relax for the evening. But if you are new to our channel, thank you guys for checking in. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below if you want to see more. We have a lot of work ahead of us this summer. We do indeed. Yes. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, guys. See you guys, guys next time.